so the other day, I stumbled upon this video on my YouTube homepage from Rev Says Desu, and it was about Iron Mouse, and I got curious because Rev's videos are typically about controversies or drama or unhinged news happening around anime media and VTuber Twitter. And I got really upset watching this, like angry actually, because the video is talking about Iron Mouse getting bullied by people on TikTok. You know, the app that's about to be banned in the US because 2024 is the year that nothing is allowed to exist, for better or for worse. Basically, Basically, ever since Iron Mouse won Content Creator of the Year award, people from other streamers' communities have been bullying her non-stop over it because they can't fathom how a pink-haired anime woman could ever be better than their stinky IRL male streamers. And it's really sad because seeing all of this toxicity towards her makes me wonder how these other IRL content creators actually feel about Iron Mouse winning that award, or if they're even aware that the people from their communities have been harassing her this entire time. Who knows, maybe they are, but I just think it's kind of weird how before the streamer awards, there was this one streamer named Kai who said some really nice and supportive things about Iron Mouse. And out of nowhere, people from his community took that as like a, okay, let's just go harass her. Like, take a look at this clip. Sick and subs? Who me? Wait, who got more subs than me? Who got more subs than me, chat? You're lying. You're lying. You're actually lying. You're lying. You need to search Prometheus Flamethrower Gangy. Let Davis try taking that. Oh, but who? But I know who Iron Man out is, and she doing a sub -thon for 30 days, my nigga? She gotta be! Oh, she is. Day 27 also. Oh, W's, W's, W's. W's, W's. That's nice, that's nice, that's nice. From what I can see, Kai didn't even do anything or say anything bad, so I don't understand why people are outing him in the comment section because I thought being told W's was a good thing. But you know, honestly, I think it all boils down to people being jealous, petty, and straight up just looking down upon anything that's considered weird to them. When you actually look at her TikTok profile, which by the way, I cannot get the stupid desktop version to load for whatever reason, so I'm just gonna have to use screenshots on my phone. Um, you can see that a lot of these comments are nonsensical bullying and the reason why I wanted to make my own video talking about this is because looking at her TikTok and seeing the massive amounts of negative comments I am so surprised that Iron Mouse still has her TikTok account because uh I don't know if you know this or not but um TikTok has been shadow banning a lot of VTubers for whatever reason they just don't like VTubers and I think it's because of the massive amounts of users reporting VTuber content because it's well not for them. But TikTok likes to push out random videos on your feed anyways to try to give new accounts like that boost, try to get you to stay and keep posting. So if you're scrolling through TikTok and you randomly get a VTuber video and you're not a VTuber fan, then you're gonna lose your shit over it and be like, what the f is this AI yapping about on my screen? Like, I get it. You're an average person working an average job, living an average life. You're a normie. We get it. I actually stopped posting on TikTok a long time ago because of just how many hate comments and mass reports I would get on my TikToks. Since those mass reports would hurt my account, and ever since then, I noticed that TikTok just doesn't show my content to as many people anymore, so why bother continue to post on there when it's not gonna really reach to anyone anyways? Like, don't get me wrong, I get hate comments on my YouTube shorts sometimes too, but not nearly to this extent. And the craziest thing about all this is that uh, people on Instagram are actually way nicer to me than any other platform I post on, which is so weird because they have super loose regulations on bullying harassment, but they actually really like me on Instagram, so... Uh... Maybe I should post more on Instagram. Look, I know that being a content creator means you're going to get hate comments and rude people sometimes, but when you're dealing with constant negativity and targeted harassment like this, it can really wear you down. And I really hope that Iron Mouse has a good moderation team to help filter that stuff out for her so she doesn't have to constantly see it. Because I do all this by myself, and I remember when I got a few targeted harassment campaigns against me, it was very overwhelming to have to read all that garbage because it does take up a lot of your mental energy and it's just flat out demotivating. Well, I guess one positive way to look at this is if TikTok does get banned, then all of those people acting like children over an anime girl's TikTok probably won't even remember her name anyways because people who use TikTok regularly can't remember what creator they watch. They only remember memes. <laughs> I learned about that one in one of Matt Pat's videos a few months ago. Thanks Matt for that, by the way. I wish I could say that the TikTok ban is going to suddenly make it better for VTubers in the sense that all 
all these negative evil people won't be able to spew their hate. The sad truth is that they're just going to move on to another platform like Instagram, Snapchat, or YouTube Shorts. I would say Twitter, but um, I feel like Twitter is mostly used by people who are too old for TikTok. And I'm basing this off of how many VTubers I constantly see talk about how old they are on Twitter. But who knows, maybe they'll also go on Twitter. Welcome to the cesspool of hate! <laughs> Okay, well, look, the only real way to deal with bullying is very simple, actually. It's to not give these people any attention, which is why I censor their names when showing the comments on here, because, well, to be frank, they don't deserve a name. These hateful words are just noise, and pretty soon, they probably won't even exist on the internet here in the uh, United States, at least. Anyway, so I've been telling myself that there's no point in letting this stuff get to me. I have come to realize that it's a lot healthier to look forward to new and exciting things rather than dwelling on the negative things that happened in the past because you know there's so much more to life than paying attention to people who have nothing better to do than to just be miserable so with that being said i'm excited to tell you about today's special release of gamer shops because guess these cups are finally out right now that's right more anime women so don't forget to use code mari for free shipping on any purchases over 39.69 and yes that means anyone who's international can get free shipping too this video isn't sponsored at all and neither have my other ones been but i'm just really excited because gamer subs doing free shipping is such an amazing deal and we all know how much i love collecting my anime girl cups here and don't worry i have some husbandos next to my waifus too not gonna lie i really want that keychain and mouse pad but i i don't get paid until next week and i know this is gonna sell out in a few hours so let's show everyone how amazing virtual anime girls are by buying big puffers cup or bows booba keychain because that'll show the bullies that'll show them that all their mean hateful comments isn't going to stop the success of us anime creators here. Anyways, with that being said, I'm curious about something. If you're a VTuber watching this and you post on TikTok, post your username in the comments down below so everyone watching this can check you out. And also, tell me, has TikTok been pushing out your content on the For You page? Or have you been dealing with a lot of negative comments from people for just simply existing as a VTuber? If you aren't a VTuber at all, then how does seeing all this negativity towards VTubers make you feel? It must be difficult constantly watching your Oshi getting attacked and hated on all the time like that's I just I can't fathom like just if I have to constantly like, see the person who literally brightens my day just constantly being shit on all the time it it would really demotivate me personally so I'm just wondering how do you all cope with it like what do you do instead than to let like the negative thoughts ruin your entire day let me know in the comments down below anyways thanks for watching everyone and remember everything reminds you of something bye speaking of comments I saw someone post this in yesterday's video talking about my glasses being a teaser for my new upcoming rebrand and I just want to say that I found this asset because I've seen Iron Mouse use similar glasses to that before and I just thought they were so cute so I found an artist who made these ones and I recorded it for a different video and then I just forgot to take them off <laughs> Great observation, Dank Meme Emporium 7635. You're such a smart noodle. By the way, do you like the glasses? Hmm, maybe I need to start wearing them more because I do like to read a lot, but <sighs> reading all of this brain rock content on Twitter and TikTok is making me feel like I'm losing my vision and my brain cells. I don't have any brain cells to lose. <laughs> Maybe wearing glasses might actually help me grow some brain cells. I did feel smarter wearing them after all.